welcome to Storytime with Herbal Roots Zine. I'm Christine Brown, and today I'm going to read to you the story from issue number 11, Pondering Pine. Pine is a wonderful herb to have on hand, especially in the winter. You can add a bunch of branches to a pot of water on top of your wood stove or your regular stove in your kitchen, as I have done here, to make your house smell amazing. And on top of that, it helps to filter the germs from the air. This is just one of the many things that you can do with pine. So the title of the story is The Tree That Never Sleeps. It was a time when bison and elk roamed freely over the prairies and highlands near the mountains. Winter had fallen on the people of the land, and they were hungry, cold, and malnourished. The snows forced the game animals away from the hunting grounds, and the food stores were getting low. Children cried from hunger and disease. The elders of the people grieved to watch their children and grandchildren fall ill from a lack of vitamins and nourishment. One elder, Lone Elk, could bear it no more. He journeyed four days to the sacred rock and knelt down, praying to the Great Spirit for help. He sang and danced and wept for an answer to the needs of his people for seven days and seven nights, stopping only to rest a few hours each night. Each night, in his hours of sleep, he was visited by a great horned owl who called to him in his sleep waking him to begin his vigil again. On the seventh night, he lay down on the rock and fell into a fitful sleep. The great horned owl returned and spoke to him, go to the trees that never sleep, gather the tips and take them to your people. Boil them in the snow and drink the infusion and your people will be strong again. Lone Elk rose from his pallet on the rock and found an owl feather resting next to him. He braided the feather into his hair, sprinkled tobacco and cornmeal on the rock, and began his journey home. On his return journey, he stopped at the trees that never sleep and carefully gathered the tips of the tree, thanking the tree for its gift and leaving behind gifts of corn and tobacco and collected some fallen cones to toss into the forest further down the path to help them sow their seeds. When he arrived back among his people, he shared his visions and the tree tips he gathered. The elder women began gathering snow and set about making the infusion. Once it was ready, they began serving it to the children and then the adults until everyone had their fill. Every day they continued drinking the healing infusion until everyone was well again. In the spring, when the animals and plants and warmth returned, the people gave thanks and planted some more trees to continue giving thanks. And every winter, when the cold returned, the people drank their infusion of tree tips and never suffered from the wintertime illness again. I hope you enjoyed today's story. If you'd like to learn more about pine, you can find the pine ebook in my shop. I'll put the link in the description below. If you wanna have an entire year of learning about herbs, check out my new to herbs course. It covers 13 herbs over the course of the year and pine is one of those that is included. Thank you for visiting Herbal Roots Scene for story time and I'll see you next time.